You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. And today I have a longer edition for Greater Brockton. I have two folks from two different sororities. And of course, I wrote it all down on a piece of paper and handed it to my graphics guy. <laughs> so I just wrote down your first names. I have Nancy here. Nancy, welcome. Thank you. Nancy, tell Thank us you your for last having name. us. My name is Nancy Rachel Rousseau. And which sorority are you with? I am with the Psi Iota Omega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. Incorporated, that's really important. Mm -hmm. That's Kim's sorority, right? That is Kim correct. Kim Zuzuza. Uh, our president is okay. Kimberly Zuzwa. Zuzwa, I always do that, sorry. And Katrina. Yes. Tell us your last name and which sorority you're in. Hi, how are you? Thank you. Um, my name is Katrina Huff-Larman. I'm from Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated in Norfolk Plymouth County area alumni <laughs> chapter. That's a big mouthful. Okay. Yes. Okay. And three sororities in the area, I think, are getting together. Is it three? Actually four. Four. Actually okay, four. four. Sororities. Okay, so we got two. And what you're trying to do is raise the importance of mm -hmm. being registered to vote, correct? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So tell us, um, you, we'll go back and forth, mm -hmm. whatever okay. you, you folks uh, want to say. Why, why are you doing it, first of all? Well, we've realized the importance of um, the youth uh, wanting to have their voices heard, mm -hmm. right? And there's a movement going on right now that we mm -hmm. realize um, with March for Our Lives, Mm -hmm. You know, that was a movement that was a great movement that was put together by youth. And since that movement, I have and we have noticed that youth are becoming more excited and more engaged, mm -hmm. right? And they need our guidance. And how better to provide our guidance is to give them an opportunity like this where they have the opportunity to register to pre-register in their high school where we're going to them. And once they turn 18, town hall or their city hall will call them at the age of 18 mm -hmm. and tell them they're registered to vote. That's even better than I thought it was. Mm -hmm. How's that? Because when I was 16, I was inspired. Jimmy Carter came to Brockton, so now I'm dating myself in yeah. terms of age. He spoke <laughs> at Brockton High. We had six presidential candidates that came to Brockton that year. Wow. 1976, <laughs> long, long, no, no, actually 1974, 75, long time ago. Jimmy Carter spoke at Brockton High. That's how I got involved. But I couldn't register to vote. Yeah. And I ended up with a Jimmy Carter pin. It was a gold peanut, said Carter, 76. <laughs> Two ways you got it. You gave him $1,000 mm -hmm. or you worked 1,000 hours for him. I worked 1,000 hours for him, so I have the pin. Wow. And I have an autographed copy of his book called Why Not the Best, oh, locked wow. away in a safe deposit box. The other one I had went to the public library and someone took it for the signature. It never got returned, it never got checked back in. So this is a good thing because um, some communities in Massachusetts now are doing this, um, they're letting young people 17 vote in municipal elections. It hasn't come yes. to Brockton yet. I think it's up in Lowell and Lawrence or something right. like it's not that. But it, it would be good because local elections, people think the presidential election is the most important election. Right. Oh, it's the other way around, local elections. So did any of the sororities start at first, or did you guys just decide that you're all going to get together and group together? So, I mean, I'm glad that you asked the question. Um, we, all of our sororities traditionally participate in voter registration, getting out the vote, very actively so. Um, however, um, in the spirit of unifying and getting together and the more people that are speaking towards a cause, the more likely you're, get, you're getting to more listeners. Mm -hmm. And with that sort of um, concept in mind, I thought of the idea of having all of the sororities, part of the Divine Nine Sisterhood, come together so that we could work together to reach our goal of 500 youth uh, in, on the National Voter Registration Day on Tuesday. That's so, a good goal, that's a lofty goal, 500 it, it one is day, a I lofty like it. Goal. <laughs> it is a lofty goal, we're a little nervous, but we're well staffed and we are covering um, as much of Southeastern Massachusetts that we can cover uh, on that day. So we're very excited and are looking forward to reaching that goal. And this will, the, this particular day will get you to be able to vote later on. Because Correct. I yes. think the, the voter registration days for the, the September 
is long past, but the November Correct. one, I, I don't think people can register at this point. They're making it easier. There was a new oh, new laws. You can do them online. You can register. when you when you read, when you get a license. You know, different mm -hmm. ways mm -hmm. to make it a heck of a lot easier Absolutely. to register. Massachusetts has generally always been voter friendly, mm -hmm. but different parts of the country aren't. We're right. hearing about voter suppression yes. and stuff like that, and Absolutely. you know, people forget that veterans fought and died for our right to vote. We're not in a country where if you go to vote, you get shot. Right. Or you get one choice, right. you get multiple choices. We, we, we're hearing about hacking elections and things like that and right. dark money, but this is to get them registered to begin yeah. with. I argue with people. I tell my students where I teach at Massasoit, if you don't vote, don't complain. I don't want to, you have a right to complain, you have a right to voice, but if you're not gonna actually get off your butt and vote, the other thing is I think they should make it a holiday. I think they should make it easier. I think I, Saturdays to me, a lot of towns do Saturday elections. I think Randolph. No, you're right. No. You have a, you have a. We have early elections. I mean, early, early voting. Early voting, yes. Which I think is, November's going to have early voting. Mm -hmm. the September yes. one didn't have it. Yeah. So what kind of response, uh, I'll go back to you, what type of response are you getting from your sisters and people supporting this cause? Absolutely, everyone's so excited. We're excited. Mm -hmm. um, the community's excited. Um, my chapter, um, other chapters, um, are really excited about this init initiative because not only does it give us the opportunity to um, present this to students outside of their classroom, but we also have um, teachers, a number of teachers have called me and said, okay, since you are doing this, we're gonna make it part of the curriculum. Nice. So many social studies teachers are making this part of the curriculum, so mm -hmm. they're preparing their students before we get to the school and register them to vote. So people, you know, so it's a win-win for everyone. You know, we have that opportunity to bring this initiative. The students have an opportunity to have their voices heard, and the, and the schools um, feel as if they're able to give an additional opportunity to their students as well. Well, I'm going to tell you something, give you a little secret. My grandson yes. is nine. He'll be 10 in junior. He was born on Obama's inauguration day. Mm. Can I listen wow. to his name? Jackson Wallace Owens. Now, does that sound like a president or something? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. He told me, he told uh, my wife, his, his grandmother is a nanny because she's Italian. So he says, nanny, can I be a pro player, pick your sport, one of three, and can I be president of the United States too? And she looked at him and said, you can be anything you want. Right. But his mother took him to vote the second year he was born, and the newspaper happened to snap up his picture, mm -hmm. and then they got the story behind the story that he was actually born on Inauguration Day, right. the first time when, when Barack mm -hmm. got elected. And so it ended up like on the front page of the local section. So I have it in a frame at home. I'm like, remember when you asked us that question? You're going to be, Absolutely. you'll be president of the United Absolutely. States. Absolutely. And I'll tell you, he's a, he, he, he knows he's good looking and he poses, he strikes the pose, <laughs> but he goes. And I used to bring my kids with me to That's vote. That's where it starts. You know, I had teachers, those history teachers you're talking about in the curriculum, the social studies class. That's what did it for me. Okay. I started in middle school, what they called the junior high then. Okay, seventh and eighth grade, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, six years. I had an advanced placement U.S. history class. I had a teacher whose son's a city councilor now. I got a five out of five on the the exam because of that teacher. But my history yes. teachers um, shook, you know, shaped me. Um, I just want to make sure my studio knows that I'm doing a 14 minute segment, mm -hmm. right? 14 minute, okay, not a nine. So I got a five minute cue, believe okay. it or not. I just want to make sure. So I want to give you guys mm -hmm. equal time. How's that? That's what Sounds you do in candidates. Me. So tell us anything <laughs> from your sorority point of view, and please include the other two sororities that aren't here. Sure. Today. So the other two sororities that are part participating in this project are Sigma Gamma Rho sorority as well as Zeta Phi Beta sorority. And both ladies representing those sororities have been part of the planning process from the beginning. Absolutely. It really started out with me reaching out to all three women and saying, hey, can we do this? And they immediately um, responded and we decided to work on this project. And just thinking about 
the excitement that Katrina referred to, I was talking to a principal yesterday at Milton High, and he was really excited about what we're doing, invited us to come back into the school after we register voters on Tuesday mm -hmm. to work with the kids and, and do some videotaping of some other things related to voter registration. So similar to what Katrina shared about, about teachers wanting to include this in the curriculum, we're also getting this feedback that there are just other entities that right. want to be a part of the project. Mm. So for example, and I'm going to you know refer to Katrina to elaborate, but um, we've, um, we've connected with Mass Vote, mm -hmm. which is a nonprofit organization that focuses on getting out the vote and particularly reaching youth as it comes to um, registering to vote. And what's significant about that is when we started the planning process, we just said we wanted to register young people to vote. Right. Never would we have imagined that it would have um, ballooned into such a huge project that's even engaged Gemini 945. Mm -hmm. So yes. it's really exciting. And Katrina, you know, I again, I want to let her talk about it a little bit because it's in her city. And, and I think that's really exciting too because I don't know if Katrina told you she's a city counselor. So... <laughs> So it's a That's big why deal. you look familiar. <laughs> okay. So it's just a big deal overall in terms of the project and how it's evolving, and we're really excited about Tuesday. Are you involved yeah. with League of Women Voters at all? I am not yet. I'm going to get yet. your contact. I'm going to get your contact because they've been kind of aging out, and okay. I think they need a little reinvigoration. I know people yes. that are involved. Okay, oh, I got the two-minute queue. Okay. You're okay. going to get a minute 30, and then I'm going to wrap it up. Okay. That? So tell us about uh, well, continue. What? Um, what's also exciting about this initiative, as Nancy said, we have JAMA 94.5 uh, will be presented at Randolph High School, um, and MassVote will be conducting a seminar, mm. a 30-minute seminar, um, talking to juniors and seniors about the importance of voting, and 94.5 will also be there putting their two cents in and also giving out swag. This is a <laughs> huge event that we are so thrilled about. Hey, I always say if people vote on election day, you, you almost should give them something, whether it be a flag pin or the I voted. I, I, I just noticed that it says mm -hmm. vote. Yeah, isn't that cool? That is very cool. <laughs> um, I just got two buttons they were giving out today. If you registered to vote, they do it. I have this whole collection of pins and buttons and stickers and all of that stuff. I, I was a candidate myself for. I have, I'm on a school committee. I'm on the Southeastern School Committee. Oh, and I ran okay. for two other offices, but I've worked in about 40 plus campaigns. Oh. I'm good at getting other people elected. Mm -hmm. It's hard to get yourself elected. <laughs> and it's yeah. also if you're a state employee like I am in right. Massasoit. Oh, there's a lot of other. Money. Yeah, yeah, there's right. a lot so of they, other. So they can't right. even, yeah. if oh, I want to give you a $20 bill, you got to give it to my committee. Yeah. That's right. crazy. Yeah. Yet the state reps and the senators can raise as much as they want. We'll talk about voting yeah, reform, <laughs> yeah. another show. Oh, That's the next sure. show. Oh, exactly. So <laughs> when is, when, so on the 25th at the school, when is the, when is the seminar, the 30 minute seminar? I'm just curious on the day of voter, national voter registration day okay. at september 25th one to two o'clock okay. randolph high school okay i'm gonna have to talk to Stu over there and see if oh, uh, I spoke to Stu is he a gonna couple be over there uh, yes he will okay so maybe he'll <laughs> share that video maybe i'll give him this video so he can help you promote it oh, we excellent. all know each other the access family is a Absolutely, small yes. close-knit family we but we go to conferences outside of Massachusetts so we can all get together. We're in the next town over, but we don't see each other when we right. mm -hmm. go, go crazy. Mm -hmm. So um, any contact information, phone numbers, websites, Facebooks that you, either one of you want to share? Um, well, we'll with, put it up on the screen. So Okay, great. Okay. Um, since it is on the screen, then everyone can see that our website is www.pio1908aka. Dot org. There we go. Um, and we do have a Facebook, but all of the, and I should say, and all of the social media access points are on our website, so anyone can check us out it's through the various It's all about the, the social channels. media, the younger you get. Okay, I'm getting mm -hmm. the rap cue. Quick okay. for you, contact info, just... www.dstncaac. Okay, <laughs> we'll put it up there so they'll get it. Thank you. Thank you both. It's Thank been a pleasure. So I'm going to follow Thank up with you. you when this all happens after the fact. And let us know about your events and we'll help you promote them. Absolutely. That'd be awesome. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.